guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something which has been requested before over on Instagram and is sticking in line with kind of my top five or my top tips for certain elements of everyday life, whether it be style, um, fragrances, grooming, things like that. Um, and today I thought I would sit down and talk about in my opinion, the top five mistakes I see guys make when it comes to styling, fashion, outfit building, however you wanna put it. I used to work as a personal shopper and these are the five main mistakes which I saw people come in with all the time, whether it was that they didn't like how their clothes fitted, whether they came in not really knowing what size they are. Let's be honest, it's not just women who have a few issues when it comes to shopping for clothes or outfits. And we all have those areas where we could do with a little extra help. So today I thought I'd sit down and give you my top tips to avoid the five main mistakes that I see guys make when it comes to fashion. Let's start with the very first thing. I feel this is something which can be quite obvious, but that being said, I feel a lot of people do overlook it most of the time, especially when you gain weight, lose weight, or just your body changes shape, especially if you go to the gym quite a lot, and the clothes aren't gonna fit you in the same way that they used to. So the first thing that can be a bit of an issue is getting the fit right when it comes to shopping for clothes, keeping clothes in a wardrobe, or even just having a little bit of a clear out. I feel this can be the easiest thing to resolve when it comes to shopping, especially with all the different fits and styles that are out there nowadays, whether it be skinny fit, slim fit, tailored fit, tapered, there are so many different styles that there's enough out there to suit everybody no matter kind of your shape or even how you like to dress. I, especially on trousers, don't like anything too baggy as I feel where I am quite tall, I'm six foot four, um, if I have a lot of extra fabric like hanging, it just looks messy, it looks scrappy and this is the same for most things. I feel everybody knows that getting a perfectly fitted suit is such an important thing to have in your wardrobe and when you find a suit that fits or if you've had it tailored it looks so much more expensive it looks more premium it looks better and you're going to feel better wearing it it's so important to get the fit right i will often try about three different sizes on because like i said i am really tall in certain areas i'm quite slim and skinny others i'm quite big like my waist and especially my hips are quite wide compared to the rest of me so i often have to size up or in some stores i can size down to fit certain trousers around the waist shirts again on the shoulders where i am quite broad across the shoulders i do find it hard to find things which may fit on the shoulders but then aren't too baggy around the waist so spend that extra bit of time trying things on to find the right size and the right fit for you i I do have like my go-to sizes and fits for certain brands and certain stores that I shop with. But that being said, if I haven't shopped there in a while or it's something that I really like, I will try two or three sizes on just in case I want to size it up or size it down so it fits. At the end of the day, the size is literally just a number or a letter. So make sure you're getting the right thing to make you look your best. So having spoken about getting the fit right, it leads me perfectly on to my second point, which is dressing for your age. I feel a lot of people make a mistake when it comes to this, both men and women. However, I feel guys, it can really affect how well you come across. You don't want to look like you borrowed your dad's suit, as I said before, or that you're trying to that you're trying to keep young in the way you dress. Yes, there are a lot of like more casual styles out there. There's a lot more like street style elements in men's fashion nowadays, but also there's a lot of tailoring elements which are filtered through from like the 1940s, 50s, that kind of retro golden age of Hollywood era, especially with like super smart tailoring and everyone likes to dress up. However, people can make a mistake and try to dress a little bit too old for their age and it just looks ridiculous and vice versa. You all know what it's like when you've seen an older guy out there who is dressing a little bit too young. I feel we all know women can't wear the same things that they wore when they were 16, when they're 60. And this is the same for us guys. I used to always make the mistake of dressing a little bit too smart for my age, I guess. And there have been times where I was like, oh, I really like the outfit. But this is like 16 year old me as I was starting to get into like fashion and taking a bit more pride in my appearance. So what you'd wear is like, a teenage guy you're not going to wear as someone in your 30s or 40s you're just going to look like you're dressing above your level and above your age and it just looks ridiculous there are ways of dressing down and dressing up items though so like you can wear a nice suit at any age chuck it on with a white t-shirt some trainers or just a simple shirt underneath and you've already managed to make it look a bit more youthful and bring it down to the 21st century it's not about dressing more casual or more smart uh, depending on your age it's about making sure the things you are wearing are appropriate and that it suits you as an individual not not 
following the norm in order to kind of fit a mold because fashion rules have been played around with over the past few years and it's not just as I said, one size fits all. You can wear a suit in a number of different ways. You can wear a t-shirt and jeans in so many different ways. It's about getting the right fit, the right style, the right color, and also how you wear it. If you're wearing it in a really formal way, obviously you're gonna look a bit older, you're gonna look smarter. But that being said, that doesn't mean you can't wear more casual pieces in a smarter way and to suit your age. So point number three, this is a mistake we have all made, it's always gonna be a mistake people make, and this is following trends for the sake of following trends. Yes, there are fashion trends which stick around for a long time and become kind of staple pieces in our wardrobe after they've stood the test of time and proven that they are stylish, they are fashionable, and it isn't just a bit of a fad and a trend that everyone goes through. We've all spent money on pieces which we've only worn like a handful of times. I know I've got things in my wardrobe which I've worn maybe twice and I don't like them anymore. Or they were in fashion one season and, or should I say in trend or style one season and not the next. I feel fashion and style are two very, very different things. Fashion can be what is in trend. It can be what is of the now, whereas style is something which can be consistent, it can be timeless, and it can be individual to you. Just because something's fashionable and in trend doesn't mean it's necessarily stylish. You can build your own style and not have to follow the trends and not waste money in the meantime. Once again, the previous point has led me nicely on to the fourth mistake I see people making all the time, and that is spending a lot because they think you have to spend a lot to look good. This isn't true at all. And yes, we all know there are designers out there, there are brands out there which you can spend a lot of money on and get amazing quality pieces, beautifully designed garments that you are gonna wear forever. I have some amazing pieces in my wardrobe which I wear season after season. I've had for years and years and years. And it's the same for a number of other people. You look at a number of fashion icons out there, big names, they have worn the same pieces for years and years. They found their style, they found brands which work for them. That being said, it doesn't always mean and that spending a lot means that you're gonna look great and it is worth spending a lot of money. Everyone works hard for the money they earn, so why should you spend a lot of money on things which aren't gonna look good and that you're not gonna feel good in? When it comes to buying clothes, I always recommend and I will always stand by investing in good quality basics. This is something we all need to do. These pieces are the bread and butter of your wardrobe. They're gonna be your go-to every single day. So this is good quality, like plain t-shirt. So you've got your white, your black t-shirt. Finding a pair of jeans that fit you, finding a blue pair, black pair, white pair. So you know you've got like good things that you can partner with or whatever. You can grab a shirt out of your wardrobe jeans and layer it up with kind of a statement jacket or a statement piece of knitwear. So then you've got the basis of your outfit which you can build up on. Whenever I get people asking where my leather jacket's from or if I know where they can find one for themselves, I will always say invest in the real thing. Yes, a lot of people prefer getting things like vegan leather or faux leather jackets, but for me, a leather jacket is a leather jacket. It, it has to be leather. It ages with you nicely, so it creases, it follows the body. As you wear it, it stretches to your natural shape, but if it gets a bit scratched up and starts to show kind of signs of age and wear, it normally starts to look a lot nicer. And this is the same for things like shoes, invest in good quality basic shoes. So like your leather, make sure they're sturdy and made of a good quality fabric. A lot of people shop fast fashion and can waste a lot of money buying pieces which that you're gonna wear three, four, five times, and it's gonna look a bit tired at the end of that. It's gonna start to fall apart, it's gonna go bobbly, it's gonna fade, it's gonna stretch, and it's definitely not going to look as good as if you'd spent a little bit more money on a good quality basic item and invested in the, kind of the heart of your wardrobe and spent a bit more time and effort in looking after your clothes. And finally, one of the biggest mistakes I see guys making is not following their own personal taste in fashion and style. Like I said, style is something which can be so individual to yourself. You might love something and it might match your character, your personality, and you might feel great wearing it. But because someone else isn't wearing that type of thing, it doesn't mean that you don't have to and that you can't do it. When it comes to high street brands especially, most people can follow the crowd, can act a bit like sheep, and just wear it because everybody else is wearing it. That doesn't mean you can't wear things that everyone else is wearing because of course you can, you can wear whatever you want, 
but at the same time you shouldn't have to follow the crowd try mixing things up try piecing different pieces together which you may not have thought went together or that just because someone's wearing it one way and you've seen the model on the website wear it one way you don't have to wear it in the same way you can mix it up and i love mixing kind of classic tailoring and like old school pieces with modern pieces and making it a bit more contemporary I guess and kind of put my own stamp on things but you should always have your own unique style and find your own way of wearing things especially if you do have an interest in fashion or you want to improve your wardrobe and start to take a bit more pride in your appearance so definitely find your own style invest in good quality basics and don't follow trends I feel that's a massive mistake that we all make They were the five biggest mistakes I've seen people make and that I regularly see people make and I do still make myself. Nobody is perfect and we all have things to learn from and we can all improve in certain elements. They're just things which I've seen over and over again and when it comes to looking on Instagram for a bit of inspiration or online at the kind of different brands and websites of what they've got in, these are things which stand out from time to time. Um, People make the mistakes. Like I said, when I used to work as a personal shopper, these are things which people would come in with and I'd say, okay, you think you're one size and you don't like how you dress, yet if you were to size up or size down, you'd feel so much better and they try the different sizes on. I'd bring them something which maybe was a little bit more pricey than they kind of wanted to initially spend, but when they tried it on and they were actually, I'd rather spend X amount on something which I'm going to get 20 wears out of than spend X amount on something which I'm gonna wear probably three times or twice. And it's almost like they had a little light bulb go off in their head and it was almost a moment of realization that you can mix things up and change things around. And if you think about shopping and fashion differently, you'll have a different relationship with how you look and you'll have a bit more pride in your appearance. But I hope you all enjoyed today's video. And if you have any ideas of what you'd like me to talk about in next Wednesday's video, let me know down below in the comments or drop me a message on Instagram. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button to see what else I upload and to stay notified of when I have new videos. Every Sunday I have a new vlog that comes out from the previous week with Jess and I and then on Wednesday I will sit down and do either like a fashion, travel or lifestyle video. But enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you again in next week's video. Bye guys! Bye.